Hey guys, let's play Diablo. Look at that sword, it's sticking out of a mountain. It's probably important. Unlike these buildings, they've been destroyed, burnt, and they are now empty and deserted, just like the rest of this town. There's a slow motion crow feeding on the eyeball of a poor dead person. Surely there's a better diet for a crow than human eyes. That's nasty. That sword is still there, that's for sure. This place could use a nice paint job. It used to be a wonderful blue color. And that guy lived there. Actually, that's our hero. That's who we're going to be playing as. There's more dead people. Basically, what happened is we grew up in this town. And we are returning for some reason. And now the entire town has been destroyed. People have been hung. And we are in hiding Actually, I really don't understand what the whole purpose of this cutscene is other than to try and show off some impressive 3D graphics because back for its time, these graphics were quite impressive. This was on my old Windows 95 machine. Yes, this was the first computer game I ever played and I was quite young when I was exposed to this game. And it was pretty scary for me. I never beat it. I was never able to actually get past, like, sixth level. It was too much for me. I couldn't handle it. The music, the, the screams of all the enemies. Big D-Man himself right there. It was all just too much for my small brain to comprehend. But now that I'm older, I'm not scared anymore. So I'm going to play single player. And I already made a, a little recording thing here just to make sure that my recording software was working properly. I'll go ahead and make a new character just so people think that I'm starting from scratch. And I'm going to name myself Rapunzel. Alright. Oh, the town theme. I could listen to it forever. Basically, there's a bunch of town Tell people here. Drinking peace? And uh, they all have interesting things to say. Such as Farnham the Drunk. Give me some gossip. He's the best man in town. I don't think his wife likes me much, but as long as she keeps tapping kegs, I like her just fine. Seems like I've been spending more time with Ogden than most, but he's so good to me. Ogden, huh? I'm not sure who Ogden is yet, but let's go look. Obviously, this is a point-and-click game. You want to walk somewhere, you have to point-and-click there. And this guy urinated Hello, in the town friend. fountain. Stay a while and what listen. Doing? Anyway, let's talk Poor to him. Poor Farnham. He is a disquieting reminder of the doomed assembly that entered into the cathedral with Lazarus on that dark day. He escaped with his life, but his courage and much of his sanity were left in some dark pit. He finds comfort only at the bottom of his tankard nowadays. But there are occasional bits of truth buried within his constant ramblings. So basically, he's the guy who went into the dark labyrinth and got scared shitless, and now he can't think straight. Well, we'll find more, out more about that what labyrinth you, my friend? soon. What's up, Peppin? Before it was taken over by, well, whatever looks below, the cathedral was a place of great learning. There are many books to be found there. If you find any, you should read them all, for some may hold secrets to the workings of the labyrinth. Hmm, books, huh? Yes, back in these days, books were still important, because we didn't have things like the internet to make books obsolete. These are the main townspeople here that I will be needing to talk to right away. Actually, I think this is the Thank only guy Thank goodness you returned. Now. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. 
Good luck. We'll need it. And here's Whoa, his wall. What can I do for you? Yeah, I don't feel like talking to anyone else. Let's just get this show on the road. A lot of people are probably gonna be like, Stop Toaster, why aren't you playing Diablo 2? That game has so much better graphics and it's newer and it's Diablo 2. Why not play Diablo 3 or Halo Wars or blah, 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 blah. You know what, I'm a weird person and sometimes I just really, really, really need to play an old classic game. And if it pops into my head that I want to play something, usually it happens when I'm listening to, like, the game's soundtrack or something. Here's some cows, by the way. There is no cow level, but there are cows here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I just really, really wanted to play this game. I have an unsatisfiable urge when it comes to things like this. And if I don't get to play this game, I will not be happy with playing anything else. So, I'm going to get this out of my system, play this game from start to finish, and I might as well record it all, and record the commentary live, and here's Adria the Witch, we don't have to worry about her yet. All we got to do is go to the church, so I'm going to get that over and done with now, before you get too bored. Click, click, click. Not sure how loud my clicking is going to be. Hopefully it's not too bothersome, but you do have to click a lot in this game, so get used to it. There's the graveyard, and here's the church. Let's go worship Jesus! Yay! Huh. Usually there's a wounded townsperson right here. Perhaps I didn't talk to enough people. But whatever, I'm going in here. Let's get this over with. Okay, here it is. The sanctity of this place has been fouled. Level 1, the church. Small chest with gold. And this game is unique in that every time you... Yeah, every time you create a new character, every level is randomly generated. So every playthrough is unique quite awesome. It's one of the reasons I love this game so much. But all we gotta do now is kill these assholes who are getting near us. You can hold down shift and click in place to attack in place, and you can switch directions by spinning around like so. Or you can click on the nearest enemy to walk up to them and give them a good swiping. All we really deal with in here are the basic level 1 monsters like skeletons and cats imps and stuff, so this is basically just to get you used to how the game works and the mechanics and whatnot. Um, there's a map button, tab, and that's very useful because you're going to get lost a lot. And I'll try to keep it down at all times, but I remember my first playthrough, I basically played through the game with the map on all the time. Nothing in this little cubby hole. A lot of the treasures you can probably ignore, but the chance of getting something rare and useful is just too great. And I gotta, I gotta open everything, every chest, crack open every barrel, kill every enemy. Barrel! And yes, some of the barrels explode and hurt you. Very annoying, but I gotta open them all anyway. Let's kill these guys. Me. I am taking some damage, but it's nothing to worry about yet. I am the warrior. I can just run in and bash these guys. Now, if you were an archer or a mage, you would be much more fragile and probably die a lot quicker, but they have their advantages. Not that I've ever played as either of them, because I've only played this game one other time. So I guess you could say this is almost a blind run, but not quite. I do kind of know what I'm doing. At least for these earlier parts. Fall. Some more gold. Can always use gold. Hmm. I remember when I was a kid, this track in particular was quite terrifying for me. I didn't understand what was going on. All the noises I was hearing. I'm just gonna run in here and start bashing away. Zombie! 
And these imp guys with the poles, like, if you kill one of them, all the other ones are going to run away. So, if you're being surrounded by one of them, just be sure to single them out and kill one of them, and then start working on everybody else. And I also leveled up, but uh, I now have a bunch of people following me, so let's have them step in line. If you're ever getting overwhelmed, it's always a useful tip to just stand in the doorway and swing your sword away, because otherwise it's very easy to get surrounded and murdered. Die! Gosh. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and level up now. Strength! Fallen one. Some more barrels. Got every barrel. This guy's doing a flying, flying backhand slash to me. Skilled warrior. Fallen one. Sarcophaguses. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, and there's level two. Yes, in this game, you do not ascend. You only go down, 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 deeper into the labyrinth. I think that's what drew me, draws me to this game the most. This is the only game I can really think of where you really travel down, down, down into the pits of hell to kill Satan and save the town. There are other games like that. Please let me know. I love killing me some Satan. Alright, I'm trying to hit these things. Not having too easy of a time with it. As a warrior, my accuracy is quite low. So it may take me a while to bring guys down, but I do that damage and I have a ton of life. That's all I care about. Gold, gold, gold! All in one. It also tells you how many kills you get of a certain enemy. Like, I've killed six fallen ones. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a shrine there. Enchanted Shrine. I used to have uh, a piece of paper that told me what all the shrines do. I should really get another one of those before I try and activate that. Because shrines can be either good or bad. Do not want the bad one. So open some more shit here, some more barrels. Skeleton! Die! Alright. More skeletons! I really don't think there's gonna be any Sunday mass this week. I'm obviously not hitting anything. If you're not hitting anything by hitting the shift button and swinging, then you just gotta start clicking on them. It's probably the better way to go. Where'd that gold go? Did I already pick it up? Oh man, there's another shrine. Oh shit. I think I'm going to stop the recording here and, uh, no, don't click on it yet. I have to to get that gold. So yeah, I'm gonna stop the recording here. Figure out what these shrines do, and I'll see you later. Bye!